Hello everyone. Welcome to Krishna Das Lessons. Today I'm going to show you a way to add up um, two fractions with different denominators. Here are some examples. So I'm going to do 2 by 6 plus 3 by 18. I mean, not 3 by 18, I would do the, instead of 3 by 18, I would do 3 by 9. So, basically, we're going to need to find the LCM of these two denominators first. Because <laughs> because these two denominators are what we're going to change so that we can actually get an equal number. Uh, equal denominator so that we can add the problem. So, we're going to create, you're going to actually create a chart here. Uh, which, uh, not a chart, but a graph, a the structure that we're going to use to actually find out the LCM. So let's just put two lines. Sorry, guys. And then we're going to write down two fractions here. A yellow. So we're going to do two denominators here. So we're going to write down nine. And six. So we're going to start with the, again the multiples. The least common, uh, the LCM is the least common multiple that we need to find out. But actually, <laughs> no, we'll start with nine because since nine just one goes to nine, is we'll start with six because six times one equals six. Then put a colon, a semi colon, so that we can divide it. And then nine times two equals this. Since nine times eighteen, write down eighteen. And since 6 times 3 equals to 18, we just write down 18. I mean, then 6 times 6 times 2 equals to 12, we just write down 12. Continue on with 9 times 3 equals to 27. And then 6 times 3 equals to 18. And now we're going to start here because we filed out you know, to the LCM. Is 18? The LCM equals to 18, and this is this because they, those two are the same. And with the information that we have here, we're going to actually create another problem that, that, that actually separates like this. First, we write 2 by 6 and because that's the first number here. And since 6 times 3 equals 18, we're going to write we're going to put 3 times 3 by 3 because we're multiplying by 3 by 3 because the, the top and bottom, you have to multiply the top and bottom by uh, by number, multiply to the top and the bottom of it equally. So we're going to get 6 and 18. 6 by 18. That's our answer. Now we're going to use a 9. So it's 3 by 9. And we're going to multiply this by 2 because uh, since the 9 times 2 equals 18. So we uh, multiply the top and bottom by the same number. My pen is a little bit. I really don't have a pen. So the 6 is by 18 would be our answer. Okay, but then, I mean 6 by 18 will be our answer, but we're going to need to add up both of them. So let's add up both of these numbers, and we're going to get 12 by 18, that is, which we can simplify to. Simplify uh, find the, this number means I'm going to actually put it to small parts. To simplify, I'm going to divide it by 2 because 2 is actually the only way to we can simplify it. Actually, Leo, I was just to tell you that this is the greatest common factor. So this 2 is the greatest common factor for both of these numbers. If it's not, I will show, show what else you could do. So 2 divided by 2. I mean, is that the, the greatest common factor is not 2, but 6. So 6 by 6, we have to divide it. And we will get. 2 by 3. And that's actually our answer. We're Yahoo! We got actually uh, the, uh, out of two numbers with different denominators. Right? So right now our box is up because that's our final answer. So thank you for watching. Bye.